and I am live. Good morning, YouTube. <coughs> Good morning, YouTube. I've got a frog in my throat. Good morning on Sunday, the 14th of July, 2019. Um, I've got a thumbs up and yet there's nobody watching. That's clever. <laughs> there's three people watching. I uh, presume the thumbs up must have happened before the watch count increase because I was like, that's very clever. How do you know you like it if you're not here watching? Good morning, Lainey Ray. If there's anybody else there would like to pop in the chat and sit there with Lainey, please do because otherwise she's on her own. So there's Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. How the devil are you? Are you all well this morning? It is, as I just said, I think, Sunday the 14th of July. It is 10 past 11. Good morning, Catherine McConnell Lil and Alpha Rebecca Turner. <gasps> Rebecca says I'm in church, I'll watch later. <laughs> Under the cover of the pew. <laughs> um, good morning to the 17 people, 15 people. Two people went away. Bye. I only mentioned the word church and two people left. They, 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 they suddenly remembered they ought to be there. They've all suddenly run off to get changed. Down to 13 and back up to 15. There's something very odd going on with the watch count. Good morning, Kath Palmer and Lolly Frads. I'm very well, Lainey, thank you. I'm um, still a bit hot and bothered. Still a bit hot and bothered. But I tell you where, if you want a crystal, go to McDonald's on Cribs Causeway because it's like a sodden freezer in there. I had to come out. I was so cold. Good morning, Adendri. Adendri says, yeah, I finally caught you live. I think I think you came in just at the very end last week. So I was going, you were like, hi. And I was like, bye. <laughs> so I have been to two car boot sales this morning. Count them, one, two. And I have a haul to show you. And first, I'm going to show you this so I can get out of the way. So I paid £2 for all of these Wombles videos. I have no idea whether they are worth having. But they came with, for the same £2, all of these Wombles. So I've got... This is a big... I feel like this is going to be like... He seems like he's got some kind of mechanism inside him. But... Oh, hang on. Okay, he had a pull string, which I pulled, and it, and it just shot back in and doesn't seem to do anything. So whatever his pull string used to do, presumably doesn't do it anymore. But that's a very large Orinoco, I think, isn't it, with the scarf? And then a small Orinoco. Not sure who this one is. I feel like I ought to know. But I'm not sure. I know it's a girl. Perhaps it's, um, perhaps it's Adelaide. I think there was one called Adelaide, wasn't there? Okay, um, anyone know? So I've got some more people who've popped in. Let me just say hello to Stee and Sally and Tess and uh, Mandy, Michelle. I think that's everyone. Sorry if I've missed you. It isn't deliberate. Lainey's going to cross a big road. Lainey, you go for it. I have been watching your Instagram posts and your Facebook posts. You go for it. You can go across that road. I believe in you. I believe in your scooter bike thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing a picture of you from the other side of that road. You go, girl. Good morning, Mike's Graphics. I hope you're not still in the hospital, but if you are, I hope they're looking after you and not giving you terrible hospital food. Kath says, underground, underground, wobbling free. That's me, that is. So um, how many have we done? We've done three so far, and then there's another Orinoco. I just realised the big Orinoco is missing his hat, isn't he? This one just seems to be a naked womble. This reminds me of the ones I had as a kid. Not that they were naked, but the shape of it more. That's Tobermory. That's Tomsk. Isn't it funny how these things come back to you? Good morning, Josh. That one, I'm not sure, that's the same as the big one, isn't it? So maybe it is Adelaide. She's got the same hair and whatever. And then that's Great Uncle Bulgaria in his shawl, which is very, um, very much the worst word. These are very old. They smell awfully, awfully vintage. <laughs> and then I've got a Madame Cholet, and she's a glove puppet. Glove puppet? Glove puppet. Good morning, uh, Andrew. Mike's still in hospital. It's been seven weeks now. I tell you what, on hospital food, Mike, you've probably lost about eight stone. So all of those wombles, that's 10 wombles and 10 wombling videos. That was two quid for the lot. I have no idea whether there's any money in it, but surely there's still a lot of crud falling out of them. So one of them's full of sand. Um, surely I can make more than two quid on that lot. I'm going to sell it as a bundle. I will have to mention in the listing that they smell awfully, vin <laughs> awfully vintage. But surely there's more than two quid there, isn't there? Surely. Little Alf says she thinks I've got a good bargain. Good morning, Peter Ray. <laughs> yeah. Lainey says, Wow, well, thanks, Carlo. I feel like nothing can stop me. I need you to walk by me everywhere or go everywhere I go and everything I do with that. Kind of... So I think that's Anthony coming home. Anthony's been camping. I think he's just arrived home and the dogs will be very pleased to see him. Aldeny, that's the word. That's what I was trying to think. I'm not Adelaide. Thank you, Adendry. 
Yeah, Lani says with that, uh, sorry, Lainey says with that kind of verbal thought, I'll be doing motorways next week. Don't do motorways. <laughs> Having said that, there is um, there's a couple of older people here who have mobility. I mean, there's lots of people around, but specifically two older people in this area who have mobility scooters. They've got a flag on the back and they go down the centre of the dual carriageway doing about 15 miles an hour and causing absolute bloody chaos. Absolute, absolute chaos. Can you be quiet? I know it's Anthony. Go and see him. Go and see him. He's only been away two days. Right, so let me just move my wombles. And that'll give me space for the other stuff. I wish I knew what the big one with the pull cord was meant to do. Whatever it is, he doesn't do it anymore. Oh, God, I'm, I'm losing wombles. Sorry, great uncle Bulgarian. That's no way to treat an elderly womble in his, in his dotage, is it? There we go. I'll leave the videos there. But yeah, even video, I mean, the, the video is not DVDs, but who knows? People do still buy videos. Mike's only lost 10 kilo. You're eating too much hospital food, Mike. <laughs> Peter Ray says I was at the car boot at 7 and was okay but at 7.15 it rained heavily for the house of wash oh no and Josh wants to know when's the next sausage fest meet up I believe you've been trying to arrange one of those of your own haven't you Josh good morning Fandria and good morning reselling Polly it is afternoon where Sam is because she is in Benidorm or Venezuela or somewhere hot anyway but it is specifically today it is reselling polly aka sam's birthday so i'm going to sing and i want you all to sing along okay happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear sam happy birthday to you happy birthday sam have a lovely day good morning kirsten curiosities good morning jason and whistle oh lolly fans has missed how much you paid for your wobbles i paid two pounds for the whole lot so 10 videos and 10 assorted wombles two quid for the lot it's got to be some money though isn't there uh i don't i'm not gonna i'm not gonna well, I'll give you the bumps when you get back sam all right good morning carrie <laughs> laney says honestly i get overtaken by the elderly all the time they don't give a toss they don't they hoon around on those things like they've got somewhere they need to be <laughs> good morning laura gail laura says i'm off to truro car boot in a bit hoping to find some good stuff hope the weather holds for you don't get washed out like peter ray did uh, good morning, DBG. If anybody has come in, I've missed you. I'm sorry and good morning. Okay. Also, while we get the large stuff out of the way, of course. Now, we all have a money tin, don't we? There'll be part of anything. <laughs> Look at the size of this bugger. I don't know if you've got any context of size there, but it is 15 inches tall and 11 inches in diameter, which is a sizable piece of anything. Josh is hoping, Carla, hope you're not going to Bristol Centre tomorrow, huge protest starting. No, I'm not going anywhere near town tomorrow, Josh, but thank you for the warning. So, yeah, this is a very, very large, very large money tin. In my dream, of course, my dream is to fill this money tin and be extremely wealthy and have a massive tin full of money. What will actually happen is I will fill it to about there. And then I'll need some change for something or I'll start wondering how much is in it or a bill will come in that needs paying. And it'll never get past at the very very most it might just get to the bottom of the printed area there's no way i'll fill it but i wish i really really wish Hi, buddy, move bum, mate. buddy would fit in that tin can you imagine <laughs> bear in mind how loud buddy is can you imagine how loud he would be inside a tin echoing away <laughs> good god <laughs> Oh dear, right, I don't think I've missed anyone coming in. Lolly Fuss is, wow, that's a big one. Is that the first time you said that today? Sorry, it's the first time anyone said it to me today. I bought this, this is not to resell, this is for Molly Dog. I have the cleanest kitchen floor on the face of the universe because Molly tips the water bowl over three or four times a day. At least I should have the cleanest kitchen floor. What she does, she tips the water bowl over and then she goes in the garden, gets muddy feet, comes back and paddles in the, in the mud. So I haven't got the cleanest kitchen, but I ought to have. But she tips it over three or four times a day. So I got this one because it has rubber grip and hopefully she won't be able to knock it over and that was only £1.50. So, so far not a lot of reselling stuff, just the wombles. Good morning Adele. I got a Smiggle pencil case for a pound. This is one of the milk shaped ones. I've got a purple one. I might, I might add, I've got spit a sentence out woman got the purple one already listed i might add this one to the listing i don't know we'll see we will see 
Now, I bought this. I have absolutely no idea whether this has any resale value, but I got bought it because hey, it was so bloody awful. And also, it's so so fun in a way. So it's by a brand called Jessica. Now, I've seen Jessica stuff before. I don't think it's CNA, so it's fairly vintage because CNA has been gone a long time, hasn't it? Anyone know when CNA? I know you can still buy CNA clothes in one of the. Um, is it New Look or Topshop or? Dorothy Perkins, somewhere like that, you can buy a CNA branded clothing. But this is an old CNA label. So it is mohair and it has appliqued clowns and balloons all over. It's bloody awful. And I bet if you wore it, it'd be itchy as shit. But um, it was two quid. It's in absolutely brand spanking new condition because, funnily enough, whoever bought it didn't go anywhere in it. Can't imagine why. It's lined, so I presume that would sort out the itchy as shit problem. Good morning, Welsh Wonder Nia. It is nine. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, I can't read that. 80% mohair, 20% acrylic. But yes, isn't that, isn't that dreadful? Isn't that just the most dreadful thing? But also, in some ways, the most funky thing. Yeah. I can't decide whether I like it or not. I know it might. Well, no, I know I don't like it or wear it. <laughs> Polly says, Sam says, geez, that's fugly. Stick it on for 50 quid. I might well do that. You never know. I paid two and it's in beautiful condition. <laughs> good morning, Shelster Rooney. She said, morning. Oh, yes, I'm not good with itchy shit jumpers. It is lying, so that would cut down some of the itchy. Oh, Josh has finally sold an egg cup. He says, I sold one of my egg cups, Carla, for £9.99 to Australia. They paid £15 shipping for a bloody egg, kit. Go, egg cup. Go, Josh. Go, Josh. <laughs> so, yeah, I might stick on a 50 quid. Who knows? I can always come down, can't I? Whereas I stick it on the 20 quid and it sells overnight. I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, I undersold that. I got an Henry 40p. These sell for a minimum of a tenner. The the other one, there's like there's a green one and a pink one as well, and I think a yellow one. They sell for a bit more, but that'll sell for a tenner. Quite happy with that. It's been a bit of a mug day. I should warn anyone in there who disapproves of my Disney mug problem that there may be, need to be an intervention staged at some point. Hi, Louise. So these were all four, two quid for the four. They're just a matching set, matching set of Tigger mugs, the barrel kind. Two quid for four. I'll, I'll, I will list them as a set as well. If they don't sell as a set after a few months, I'll split the listing down and sell them individually. But why wouldn't you have that money? Why wouldn't you? Where's this hose? The, the soft ones don't have a hose. The plush ones don't have a hose. Trust you to notice, Fandry. Always looking for the hose. Rocky Rose says, absolutely horrendous, so we'll sell well. It's royalty in the fuggy world of ugly stuff. Yes! I've got a royalty, royalty cardigan. <laughs> Josh says, yes, Shell, they're okay. Sell as if they're an animal or something. I missed something. Oh, well, talk about his egg cups. Now, now here's the thing. I picked up this Simon Swipe, which I have sold before for probably about a tenner. With its instructions no box but i mean i've sold it before and i said to the lady how much is this and there was a young girl and what well, i would assume as her older sister she didn't look old enough to be a mum and she said the young girl said oh um maybe a pound and i went and then she went maybe two pound and i was like no no you're going the wrong direction i didn't say anything i just went hmm. but the older sister then went maybe 50p and i was like right you're you're my kind of pricer and then she went i've got another game here as well um I, I, i've never seen this one. it's called flash pad connect and she was like, if you want, you can have the two for a pound. Um, so I was like, okay, then. I have no idea if, if it's any good, if I want it or not. But but um, it was 50p. And it's, again, it's got its instructions with it, which is just what it looks. But, and, and apparently there's a, two interactive things, and each child has one. And what I presume whatever they press, the other one has a, a limited amount of time to... Um, to do it as well very much like the simon thing where you do it and you pass it on or whatever so it was 50p i don't know if it's worth having like i said I, I don't do these hauls so that you can rush out and buy what i've bought i do these hauls so that i can console myself for all the shit that i've bought <laughs> thank you peter you're a good boy you're a good man peter peter is on it this morning yeah i do i do sell well i do sell oh, blah, blah, blah. i do well selling mugs uh louise good morning andrea Shelstra says, I always like the look of egg cups because they're little, I might give them a go. Josh only sells small stuff. Lego, Lego and egg cups. And Wade Whimsies. I don't know if he sells Wade Whimsies. 
Only sells things he can fit in his pocket. <laughs> Make him sound like a shoplifter. While I was on the fuggy train, I also bought this, and this was a pound. I believe this is a hand-knitted cardigan, but it's another itchy as shit number. Um, it's another mohair. It's got poppers. Yeah, Mike's a CNA left Hereford 20 years ago, so... Yeah, who knows how long. Good morning, Jesse. Who knows how long CNA have been gone? I'll have a, I'll have a look. But yeah, this is hand-knitted, and I would say it's a large-ish size. Um, I'm looking at that, possibly a 22-ish. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be an oversized 18. Yeah, just as little things and postal supplies. So, um, so yeah, back on the fuddly train with that one for a pound. That was difficult to buy because the lady was so busy having a lovely natter with her friend that I stood there waving this massive fuddly card out for a few minutes going, how much? So, nice to have a chat, eh? <laughs> but, you know, sell your stuff as well. Jesse says, oh, I found the circles as well, but I missed it, though. <laughs> yeah, Shell says, I've been getting into ties, little, aren't they? <laughs> so you can roll them up small, that's the thing. I got a shoe, and at some point in the trolley, there'll be another shoe. So we'll, we'll hold on to the shoe until the other shoe turns up. These were, the gentleman wanted two pound each, for three pound, and they're just plus size swimming costumes. Uh, one piece swimming costumes. This one has a um, halter neck, but you can you can take it off and have it as a bandeau style. And that one's Georgia Alta, but this one's M&S. M&S is always a nice one to pick up. And a 22, so plus size, always good. And Henry says, are you going to launch your own range of clothing on it? your shit? <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> So yeah, two of those swimming costumes for three quid. Right, where am I? What have I missed? Um, Rocky Rose says they're, these are cardies for sadists who like inflicting icky pain on themselves. They will sell well. There's some funny folk out there. <laughs> Josh says he can't stand ties. He had 15. He's only sold two. Yeah, so far. So far. <laughs> They'll all go, Josh. I believe in you. And then another swimming costume for which I paid two pounds for this one, I think. But this, this is a larger one. Might even get my fat wobbly ass in this one. Oh, maybe not. It's 24. My fat wobbly ass is bigger than that. But yeah, so three three plus size swimming costumes today. So I'm pleased with those. They're usually good sellers. Peter says, yes, ties do well. I don't try and pay much. Like 20p to a pound at car boots and a pound to two pound at charity shops. I've got like 15, 15 plus on my shop at the moment. <laughs> Barry the shoe. Clocks unstructured. They were... I want to say two pounds. My memory's failing me a little bit. I'm pretty sure they were two pounds for a pair of Clark's Unstructured. So please, they're in very good condition. Actually, I don't think she's worn very much, but she has stepped in some chewing gum. So that will require a little bit of scrubbing. Hi, Joan. Josh is off. See you later, Josh. Um, what's next? Oh, a pound for an East cardigan. I think this is a linen blend. Yeah, 100% 100 linen. An East 100% linen cardigan for a quid. This lady was so busy eating her bacon roll, I think she would have given it to me just to make me go away. She was just getting outside of her bacon roll and I came at the wrong place. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, sales, by the way, if anybody cares. Sales, not a thing around these parts. Not a thing. Um, I've had £7 in sales over the weekend. One sale of seven quid. That's my lot. Not a thing, sales around here. Lady says she can't mess with a lady in her bacon. <laughs> these two dresses were 50p each. These were quite a bargain because one of these is Joe Brown's. So I've got this Joe Brown's long tie-dye crochet beaded monstrosity. I'm sorry if you like this, but, but it's awful. But that was 50p. That's a shocking dress in a size 12. It's a good job we haven't got, all got the same taste, isn't it? Otherwise, Lex and I, when we go um, sourcing together, would be literally scrapping for stuff. Basically, we have a policy. If I think it's ugly, Lex buys it. <laughs> good morning, Sue, Auntie Sue. How are you? And this was Black Butterfly. Now, Black Butterfly is not a brand I have heard of, but it was polka dots and it was 50p, and it's a, a flared, gored, underskirted thing. Sometimes the care label tells you which store it's from you know sometimes that's a, a sub label of a particular store so maybe that'll be on here 
you know, sometimes it's made exclusively in China for blah, blah, blah. This one was not. So I've no idea. So Black Butterfly, maybe it is a standalone brand. But it was 50p and it's polka dot and, and I'll be able to sell that, I'm sure. I shouldn't be buying clothes. Got loads of clothes. Good morning, too much stuff. Funny enough, isn't it? I've got too much stuff and too much stuff comes in. Yeah, Peter says I've been listing lots, but lack of buyers. I think it's the hot weather. But as of last week, we'll always find an excuse. Do you think I should get my fringe cut? Ian the tack doctor have been in a bit to mention it, I'm sure. <laughs> Must get fringe trimmed. She also really says, I'm one of the weirdos that quite likes Joe Brown's. I like some of their stuff, don't get me wrong. I just don't like this dress. This is an ugly dress. But I do like some. I, I really like their patchwork coats, but they don't actually do them in my size. Also, I, it's not really my style. Good morning, Red Mania. I don't think I could carry it off. I think you've got to have a certain... Thank you, Louise. Have a lovely day. You've got a certain air about you to carry off Joe Browns. Good morning, Gemstone Just I can't say that. Gemstone Dush Ark. And Andrew, what do you find sells best for me? Is it clothes or kitchen? Well, I would say clothes, but that's probably because probably, that's what I've got most of. I've got more clothes than anything. I've probably got a thousand items of clothing and 200 of the other junk. So, but it does, it does vary. You know, you'll have weeks where you think I've sold hardly any clothing this week. You know, the mugs tend to go in runs. They, they, you know. You sell one mug and suddenly you sell six more. Good morning, Lisa. I got another watch of Pandora bags. These were 50p. There's two boxes and a watch of bags. They sell well. I'm not commenting on why they sell well. People just buy them. People presumably buy them because they want to own lots of secondhand Pandora gift bags. That can be the only reason. If other people want to do naughty criminal activities involving stuff, then that's not my business. I just want to sell them empty bags. Um, I'm just trying to find what I sold the last lot for. Red Mike, like I said, when I say when I say they sell well, I sell them as a bundle, and they sell well for what you end up paying. I said I paid fifty p for those. Um, just trying to sort my own. Well, I've done a very good job of uh, using eBay today. Nearest first. They're not showing. I've got clipping Dolly Parton in my head as well because she was on the radio on the way home. In my Tennessee mountain home, life is a something else a something could be. I obviously wasn't listening very well, was I? I can't find it now, but I know I sold some only a couple of weeks ago, so they ought to be in my. They ought to be showing up and completed as a soul, shouldn't they? This is absolutely thrilling for you guys to watch, isn't it? Me sitting here. Scrolling through eBay on my phone. Aren't you glad you came? See all. Filter. Sold. Done. Oh, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I sold some not very long ago. I, thought, I would say probably around about a tenner for a little pile of empty gift bags that cost me 50p. So. Oh, Mandy says I had a listing taken down for an empty Pandora box and got my, my wrist slapped. How odd. I've sold them more than, more than once and not had any trouble with it. So I suppose it just depends on whether somebody reports your account for it, doesn't it? I, I could have sworn that it was... There it is. I sold six for £15. That was six empty bags and five empty boxes, and they went for £15. This time I've got more bags but less boxes. So who, who knows? South London reseller says, me too, love the Joe Brown dress. Lisa says other bags are real. The bags are real, yeah. <laughs> she also said, just like looking at them, that's it, absolutely. <laughs> Too much stuff as I kept checking, but I missed the live notification. Usually. I don't know what happens with the notifications because sometimes they go out on time and sometimes they don't. So I do not know. I got a sweet pea. This was, I think it was 50p, and I've sold one of these in the past a long time ago. So it's a little, um, little plush toy and it comes in a pea pod said she not been able to get back in the pea pod so it comes with its own little pea pod sleeping bag and I, like I said i sold one of these a while back these are made by the manhattan toy company but they are quite cute i can't remember how much i got i think i paid 50p for that this morning my memory is not what it ought to be and then i definitely paid said she not being sure again oh 50p i think might have been a pound for a jelly cat 
were you 50p or a pound he doesn't know he's a bit dumb what's creepy dbg the peapod oh she's i think she's cute <laughs> i got three christmas jumpers now i've got a box of christmas jumpers in the lot so quite why the fuck i'm buying more is anybody's guess and this one's got something on it so that'll go through the wash they were a pound each and they're men's xl so they were worth picking up but like i said bear in mind the fact that i've already got a load well that's two there's another one somewhere that's two. There goes, there's the third one. That's three. So, bear in mind, I've already got a load. Quite, I felt I needed three more, I don't know, but for a pound each. Um, they'll sell for at least a tenner each. So, And then, the beginning of today, oh no, I've already shown you some mugs, haven't I? A few more mugs for today's. I bought these, and these are all Disney, and yet they're all unusual in that i've never seen these shapes before never picked up these shapes before so this one is um a halloween tigger and piglet one um sorry poo and piglet not tigger and piglet poo and piglet and then this one is again halloween it's poo with a halloween hat on never seen that one before And this one is a really unusual for me. Like I said, I've not seen this style. This is an American Pie Mickey Mouse mug. I'm trying to get it so the light's not shining on it so you guys can see it properly, but the window's right there. Can you see that? So quite unusual ones. So I buy a lot of Disney mugs. A lot, a lot, a lot of Disney mugs. But those three I've never had before. So, And they were 20 pence each. 20 pence. I expect to get between 10 and 15 pounds for those each. Oh, sorry, Zahir's here's coming. Hi, Zahir, I didn't see you come in. Sorry, hi, I'm Kirsten. I didn't see you come in either. And Scooby Shaggy. If, and if I've missed anyone else, I do apologise. Too much stuff says um, it's like the price is right when you get home from the boot sale, especially if you've done more than one. Yeah, try to remember the prices, yeah. <laughs> and... This was 50p, and that's just a Primark Early Days Comforter. Um, surprisingly popular, the Primark ones. They have surprised me on more than one occasion. And then I went off to the second car boot sale and got hardly anything because it was tiny. But is Jason Entwistle still here? I bought these because I knew that Jason Entwistle was starting to worry about me because I hadn't bought any Harry Potter DVDs for a while. 50p each. <laughs> I hadn't bought any for one. I knew Jason was starting to think I was unwell. So I snapped these up. I've got two copies of the Half Blood Prince. I've got Goblet, Phoenix, Chamber, and Hallows Part 1. 50 p each. So there you go, Jason. Don't stress. I'm still buying shit I shouldn't be. Still at me, mate. They'll go. They'll sell. Come Christmas, everybody want a bundle. Another jelly cat for a quid this time. I think you meant to be a fox. Maybe you're a kangaroo. What the hell do you think that is? It's a kangaroo. No, can't be a kangaroo. It's got no pouch. What the bloody hell are you? What is it? Fox? Foxes don't have a... Anyone got an opinion? What do we think? Pointy nose, kind of kangaroo shape, kangaroo tail, no pouch. Anteater with a pointy tail, maybe you're an anteater. He doesn't know. He's he's um he's got he's got an identity crisis. Ardvark thing lane. He says, "This is a duck. I recognise ducks." You don't know what he is either. No, not a clue. Yeah, Mandy says looks foxy to me. Maybe you're a fox. I don't know what you are. I'll look you up. I'll look you up. And when I look you up, I'll let you know, and then you won't have to have this identity crisis anymore. Too much stuff says armadillo, and now I have to say armadillo i likes armadillos and if nobody knows what that's from then i'm showing my age shelter it looks like half it does a bit like uh, alien life form off yeah a dendry says there's one on ebay 69.99 one of these yes for a quid oops depends on whether anybody sold one at 69.99 yeah so here's his alpha's epic <laughs> Lisa says, my grandson has outgrown his The Puppet Company 31-inch chimpanzee puppet and asked me to get some money for it. Listed it last night for $29.99, best off push Not necessarily. The Puppet Company stuff um, does, does reasonably well. I've got a couple of smaller ones that go on for a tenner. So 
30, 31 inches big, you know, so I, I think twenty nine ninety nine is probably not an unreasonable price at all. Good luck with that. Let's hope it sells soon. And this is it. These are the last two for the haul. Another Disney mug, which is Grumpy. Grumpy is the most popular dwarf. Everyone identifies with Grumpy. You know why? Because we all wish everybody else would bugger off. And just a little Tigger Barrel mug to add to my Tigger Barrel mug collection. And that's it. That's today's haul. People are going, Dime Bar. <laughs> I like armadillos. I like Dime Bars. They're soft on the outside, crunch on the inside. I like armadillos. They're soft on the inside, crunch on the outside. <laughs> armadillo. I love, I'm glad, glad people are joining in because anyone who isn't of, of my age group is watching this uh, and is going, I have absolutely no idea whether she's just lost the plot completely. Mandy says sort of 12 inch one for last week for 9 99 so she'd get it. Is this to, to Lisa about her puppet company um, thing? Yeah. Helen says I'm off on a bike ride to a country pub. Geez, the things I'll do for food. A bike ride. And then when you've eaten and you're full of food, you're going to have to ride home. I don't think you thought this through, Heather. Don't think you've thought it through, Bab. Have a have a puncture. Have a puncture, like maybe like ten yards out the gate or something. Good morning, Lex Delicious. Yeah, that's my advice. Have a have a puncture. Don't don't do it. Don't 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 make them. Don't fall for this. We'll get a nice dinner if we ride to the pub. Shit. Get a taxi to the pub. Let everyone else go on ahead. Pretend you've got to go back for something. Then get a taxi to the pub. And when they arrive and say what happened, does it say oh, I I I I had a puncture, so I got a taxi. Heather says, it's not her idea. She's got the bicycle skills of a fish. <laughs> That's what Einstein said, wasn't it? If you judge, if you can't judge us all the same, if you judge a fish by his ability to ride a bicycle or something. Can't remember the exact words. Lex has only just got back. Just saying hi, we'll have to watch back later. Lex was going to three car boot sausage. Did you go to three in the end, Lex? That was your plan, wasn't it? I'm going to make her stay and talk now. She thinks she's leaving. I'm going to make her stay and answer questions. <laughs> Kirsty said, Heather, listen to Carla and she'll say, get someone to film you cycling. Yeah, please do. The thing is, that I am envisaging Heather cycling in the only outfit I've ever seen her in, which is a long black kind of cloaky coaty thing. And I'm envisaging this kind of flowing out behind her. <laughs> Jesse says, three, I went to one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lex. And Heather says her dignity needs no reduction. <laughs> There's no dignity amongst friends, mate. You're here to entertain us. That's basically it. What is everyone else doing? Heather says <laughs> so you should see me on my broomstick. <laughs> What's everybody else doing this Sunday? It's Sunday afternoon. I'm going to take my parents out. Um, as I'm sure I've mentioned many, many times, Dad doesn't get very much anymore. So I'm going to take them out. Probably a garden centre. That's their idea of a fun Sunday afternoon activity. Uh, too much stuff has done two car boots and has got one to go. Zaheer is going to be watching Wimbledon and resting his heel. What's wrong with your heels, Zaheer? Have I missed something? I have to wait for, for Zaheer. Now, now, now everybody has to sit and wait for Zaheer to type his answer as fast as he can. Now. Zaheer's the one, Roger, Roger to win, although no record like. I don't I do not know who tennis people are, I've got to be honest. Is um is McEnroe still a thing? That's 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 the extent of my tennis knowledge. Shelstrin says another day at local festival drinking Magnus Dark in the sun. Oh god, how you suffer. Kirsten wants to go to the car boot, but I think it's probably a clean the bathroom on ironing. Go to the car boot. DBG is sitting like a zombie all day. Was up half the night with the baby. Did all my photos last night, so that's me done. Jason's gonna watch the Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Grand Prix. I've I, I, I've gone Chinese. Grand Grand Prix. Zaheer says, I don't know, it feels bruised, can barely walk on it. There's, you can get a heel thing, can't you? You can get a, a problem with your heel. If it's above the top of your heel, then it's your Achilles tendon. But you can actually get a problem with your heel. I don't know. It's not plantar fasciitis, because that's the base of your foot, I think. But yes, you, you've probably got something wrong with your heel, Zaheer. I'm, I'm glad to have been of service. <laughs> Medical expertise dished out free of charge. You're welcome. <laughs> I can't be serious. You cannot be serious. 
Peter's going to be listening while watching the F1 and then photographing later. Lolly's going to avoid the living room because Hubby's watching the cricket final. Does he get angry about cricket? Vandria's got six horror dolls to finish, so she can have a dining table back. <laughs> oh, and Sam's going to be sunbathing and eating and drinking lots because she's still on her jolly days. <laughs> Sarah says, I appreciate it, Carla. I'm going to cancel my booper right now. See, you don't need booper with me around. In fairness, you go to the doctor and they go, yeah, you've got a bad foot. So I've just saved you whatever whatever time and, and money that would have cost you. And my doctor always says, take paracetamol. So there you go. Take paracetamols here, unless you're allergic to paracetamol, in which case don't take them. There you go. There's fully comprehensive medical advice, covered all the bases. Claire says, morning, have I missed much? Just me talking shit, Claire, mostly. You have missed the entire haul, though, babe. Sorry about that. Uh, Joe's visiting her great-grandchildren this afternoon. Lex is back again. You didn't go for long. Yes, Lex, the haul was before you even got here, babe. Do it all again. <laughs> So he says you're not even registered to a doctor since being up there. See, because you don't need them, because you've got us. Lil and Alf feels like watching the inside of her eyelids. I always assume that Lil and Alf is the Lil of the Lil and Alf, and that Alf is... Yeah, because Lil and Alf was your parents. I remember this now. Lil and Alf was either your parents or your grandparents' names. So you're, you are a lady. You're a lady. I remember that. Polly's been scratching her legs a bit where she's been eaten alive. You have to put a hot spoon... Not a boiling hot spoon, because that makes you scream. But when you get bitten, you have to press it with the back of a hot spoon and it does something that kills the proteins. I know stuff. I am a medical bloody expert. I know some stuff. Jesse says paracetamol is my default. Paracetamol is my life. Paracetamol is my lifeblood, mate. About six a day. Mandy's going to lower 1,500 prices in her store to see if I get two sales. Go for it, Mandy. And if it works, let me know and I'll do it to mine too. Too much stuff says she enjoyed my vlog last week. I have filmed another vlog this week. I have done even less this week than I did last week, but I have filmed another one. So if you need something to nod you off to sleep while you're watching, then, it, then it'll, be, it'll be going up tonight, hopefully. Yeah, Lex has been to three car boots and everybody's very impressed. I've, I've, been to, I've been to two, but strictly speaking, it was one and a little bit because the second one was almost nothing. DBG says I've got a PhD in old wives' tales. No, the spoon thing is an actual thing. Old wife's tale. I'm very offended by your, your senseless attack on my medical knowledge. The spoon thing is an actual thing. And Sam says her dad told her that, so she's currently boiling the kettle. So, meh. Uh. I'm 46 this month, and I'm going, uh, on the internet. Great. Fantastic. It is my birthday soon. Quite soon. What's the date today? 14th. 12 days. My birthday is officially called Diamonds and Ferraris Day. It's been called Diamonds and Ferraris Day for several years now. So um, in the hopes that I will get given Diamonds and Ferraris, it backfires horribly every year, but you keep on trying, don't you? So it is, it is 12 days till, no, 10 days. 10 days till Diamonds and Ferraris Day. And Sam says it does work. Miss Jenkins is correct. Ah, ah, DBG. Ah, uh, ah, I'm going to stop now. I'm making a show of myself, but I was right. <laughs> Yeah, Foundry's going to try it now. She knows it works. <laughs> uh, Lex's birthday is International Lex Day, and that's soon as well. International International Lex Day is coming up. Yes, it was your grandma, your grandmother and grandfather, yeah. When am I next on Holly Bobs? Not until October 8th, I think. October. Going back to Mallorca, but not to the same place, going to a slightly different bit of Mallorca. And I'm going with Natalie and her boyfriend, Ryan, and our friend, Debbie. Not Debbie Stevens, who comes in the chat, but Debbie Stacey, who I don't think you guys have met. So, yeah. So did you buy much, Lex, at your three-car boot sales? Have you come home laden down like the um, like the, the pack creature out of Labyrinth, who I never it's known? That's what you remind me of. When Lex goes, when Lex comes to stay here, there's a bit where she walks away from me when she's heading back towards the train station. I drop her off in the car. She gets out. She loads herself up and she walks away. And as she walks away, she looks almost entirely like that little creature from Labyrinth that carries its entire world on its back. That's what Lex looks like when she leaves here. Because every time she comes, she shops. Mega, mega shops. Yeah, you have met Debbie, yeah. So I'm, I'm, listen, I'm going to go and take my parents out. I'm supposed to be there by half 12, so I probably ought to um, 
to wind this up a bit, really. Um, Peter says, when is the Robin uploaded? I um, I have done most of it. I edited the week up to yesterday evening. So I've got to add on the bits from last night and today and edit those. And then I have to save it to my computer, which takes about four hours for some bizarre reason. And then I set it to upload to YouTube, which is why last week it actually uploaded at about 4 a.m. On Monday morning, and I'd like to know, Peter Ray's Adventures, why you were awake because you commented on it moments after it uploaded, and, and I was like, "Why is Peter Ray not sleeping? Does nobody make you go to bed at night, Peter Ray?" Because <laughs> it, like, it uploaded in the in the early hours of the morning. You're like, "Oh, I'm here." <laughs> I mean, I love that you watched it. I appreciate that, but I also feel like you should go to sleep at night. <laughs> Little Nas says, "Your name is Debbie too." Lex bought a dress, a lamp, six bits of jewellery, Sylvanian families, a dangly thing. And 43 sets of Nightmare Before Christmas badges. The Nightmare Before Christmas the badges would be good. Um, dangly thing. What do you mean the dangly thing? Mandy's off to Tenerife at the end of October. Won't have any spending the money this week. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. Luckily, we're going all inclusive, so at least I'll be able to eat, even if I don't make any money before then. Um, Peter Ray says I was watching YouTube anyway Hashtag never sleep just a zombie <laughs> Go to sleep at night Peter Don't make me ring you up at like half past ten at night and say right Peter bedtime <laughs> A jingle jangle dangly thing Lex It's getting more interesting Pull the other one it's got bells on it <laughs> This is waiting for a lady to come and collect a woodland themed garland She's made for her new baby's nursery Joan was selling in Sully. She's got blue hair. There you go, Lex. And she was selling dangly things. So Lex with the blue hair, did you buy from a lady with blue hair a dangly thing? Wouldn't it be weird if you had? And she says, oh, do badges sell? That's another little thing. Yes, badges sell. People collect badges and rubbers. Rubbers are small. People collect rubbers. And I mean, Jesus, if you are an American person watching this, and you're going, what? People collect rubbers? <laughs> Not condoms. Erasers. <laughs> People are now trying to guess what Lex's dangly thing is. A wind chime. <laughs> and too much stuff is, is prodding Lex's sore point by asking if she's bought the house next door yet. <laughs> and Heather is off for her bike ride. I really wish we lived close enough to Heather to go and stand outside her house and watch her set off with a video camera. How are all the dogs today at Endry? Buddy's okay. You can see Buddy there. You right, mate? You're okay, aren't you? Do you want to come and say hello to YouTube? Come on, then. Good boy. Up you come. Yeah, Buddy's fine. Buddy's quite happy now because Anthony's just come home from camping. So Buddy sometimes goes camping, but he didn't go this time, did you? No. Why didn't you go? You don't know why. He doesn't know why he didn't go this time. But yeah, you didn't go this time. So you missed him, haven't you? You're glad he's home, yeah. Um, Molly is presumably downstairs getting underfoot while Anthony unloads the car. And Kai is too hot, so he'd be slumped in a corner somewhere wishing winter would come because he's got a, you know, a husky double coat. Right, you're sliding, mate. There you go. Good boy. So, but they're all well. Everybody's healthy. Touch wood. Touch all the wood. No dogs are currently broken. Cheryl says, hi, I might have to go because I'm busy cleaning and nesting. You must be very, very due, Cheryl. I think, I think Cheryl has like two weeks left to go, maybe one and a half weeks, something like that. Um... So, so it could be any day, especially if you're nesting. So good luck. I hope you have a really, really quick and simple and straightforward birth. Natalie tells people she fell out. She didn't fall out. I won't tell you any birthing horror. Two weeks yesterday, I won't tell you any birthing horror stories because I'm sure people have done that already. But I hope yours is an absolute bloody dream, love. I really hope it is. Lisa says, I love Buddy. <laughs> Alexa shows at maximum baby capacity. You do get to the point, don't you, when you're looking down your stomach going, you can't grow anymore. You have to come out now because I'm going to burst. There's just no more room. Right. I'm going to go take parents to a, a wonderful garden centre. need to find some different shoes because my flip-flops are giving me a blister. My trusty flip-flops. <laughs> I love this. Cheryl just posted, I'm huge, and apparently she's got a fat tummy. And that was held for review. Now, I don't have any blockers set on my channel. I, you know, There's no words that I've put into the block thing. 
which means that YouTube automatically holds the words fat tummy for review. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Lisa says her youngest weighed 10, purse, 10, 10 pounds of birth, chafed a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to stop because people are now telling Cheryl that her baby's going to be 42 stone. <laughs> and she's not going to want to give birth if you carry on. <laughs> Cheryl says, I held a lovely little one yesterday. I only gave her back because she pulled my hearing aid out. By the way, I've got no earrings in. You know why? I took them out in the night, I don't in my sleep, and lost one of them. So I now have to search because I wear very fine threader earrings. I have to search and find the bloody missing earring somewhere in the bed. Great. Right. Have a lovely Sunday, everybody, regardless of what you're doing. I'm going to take my parents out. Then I'm going to come home and put some of this stuff away and do some listing and stuff and all the rest, all the usual chisel. And I will, um, like I said, the will be going up hopefully late tonight, maybe, maybe early tomorrow morning, depending on how long it takes to edit and upload. And I will speak to you all very soon. I don't think there's anything else I meant to say to you all. Lex will be live in five. Over to Lex's channel, everybody. Stampede. Go, 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 go. Bye. Still waving, still waving, still here, still waving. Yes, I want to end my stream. Still waving, still waving, still here. Still here, still here. Gone. Have I gone? Have I gone? I've not gone. Time is still clicking. I think I'm still here. Why the hell am I still here? It won't go away. Should we start again? It won't let me leave. I think I'm still here. I keep clicking end stream and it doesn't end. Am I still here? Can you see me? Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> 